For years, we have talked about Maxwell's generator, speculated on its potential, and even dreamed of the day it would finally demonstrate its power in the United States. Today, September 21st, 2025, that moment has arrived. This is the first time Maxwell's groundbreaking generator is producing power on U.S. soil, and the implications are nothing short of historic. The anticipation has been building for months, with whispers in boardrooms, discussions in research labs, and excitement across social media. Now, the world is watching as the generator begins its official debut in one of the most energy-hungry nations on the planet. The cameras are rolling, engineers are ready, and the control room is buzzing with the kind of nervous energy that only accompanies history in the making. This is not just another test, not just another prototype demonstration. This is the turning point that could redefine how the world thinks about energy. As the generator stands tall in a secured facility somewhere in the American Midwest, its sleek metallic frame gleams under the artificial lights. The design itself feels futuristic, almost like a blend between industrial machinery and advanced aerospace technology. Every bolt, every cable, and every polished panel seems to carry the weight of expectation. This is the culmination of years of innovation by Maxwell Chikambutso, a name that has become synonymous with disruptive energy technology. The journey of this generator to the U.S. was anything but simple. From the early skepticism in the scientific community to the logistical hurdles of transporting such a massive piece of equipment across continents, every step was a challenge. Yet, here it stands, ready to fire up for the first time in America. The question on everyone's mind is clear. Will it deliver? To understand the magnitude of this moment, we need to briefly rewind to the global buzz surrounding Maxwell's technology over the past year. When reports first emerged of a generator capable of producing power without relying on traditional fuel, experts were divided. Some hailed it as the beginning of a new energy revolution, while others dismissed it as impossible, even a hoax. But as more demonstrations surfaced from Africa and independent testing began validating some of Maxwell's claims, the tide started to shift. The United States, long a leader in energy technology, could not ignore the potential impact. And now, this test represents both curiosity and caution, a chance to see for themselves what this machine can do. We were granted exclusive access to this event, bringing you an inside look that no one else has. From behind the security gates to the inner workings of the control room, our team has been documenting every step leading to this moment. The exclusivity matters because what you are about to see is raw, unfiltered, and entirely real. No stage demonstrations, no polished press releases, just the machine and its power. Before we get to the activation, let's take a closer look at the generator itself. The sheer size is breathtaking, towering over the technicians as they move around it. It is built like a hybrid between a massive turbine and a supercomputer, with intricate wiring and magnetic coils forming its core. What sets it apart is the absence of any visible fuel intake or exhaust system. Unlike traditional power generators that burn coal, gas, or rely on nuclear reactions, Maxwell's generator appears almost self-contained. For the average viewer, it might feel like staring at a mystery box, a machine that promises endless energy but without the familiar mechanics. So how does it theoretically work? According to Maxwell and his engineers, the generator harnesses electromagnetic resonance and converts it into usable electrical energy. To simplify, imagine tuning into a radio station, but instead of sound, you're drawing power from invisible frequencies around us. That analogy has been debated heavily, but the core idea remains. Energy is being captured from the environment and converted into electricity. If true, this machine could bypass the need for fossil fuels, solar panels, or even wind turbines. The stakes could not be higher. The United States is a nation that consumes more electricity than most regions of the world combined. Introducing a generator like this could disrupt billion-dollar industries overnight. Oil, gas, coal, and even parts of the renewable sector could face massive shifts if this generator proves scalable. And beyond economics, the environmental impact is staggering. A clean, continuous power source would mean drastically reduced carbon emissions, healthier cities, and a real path toward reversing climate damage. With that context, the weight of this first U.S. output becomes clear. 
It is not just about lighting a bulb, it is about lighting a future. Inside the control room, the atmosphere is electric in more ways than one. Engineers in crisp lab coats monitor dozens of screens, each filled with live data feeds. The countdown to activation has begun. Five minutes until history. The tension is palpable, the kind that slows time itself. Some whisper to colleagues, others sit in silence, eyes locked on the generator through the observation window. Three minutes left. Cameras zoom in on the generator's core, where faint lights flicker in preparation. Two minutes. The lead engineer announces a systems check, and each team responds in order. Ready, ready, ready. One minute. You can hear the collective inhale of everyone in the room. 30 seconds. The silence now feels deafening. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The switch is flipped. For a moment, nothing happens. Then, a low hum fills the air, subtle yet powerful, like the heartbeat of something awakening. The generator glows faintly, its core lighting up in a bluish hue. On the monitors, data streams begin to spike. A cheer erupts as the first readings confirm. Electricity is flowing. Bulbs light up in the testing chamber, their filaments glowing bright and steady. The hum grows stronger, steady but not overwhelming. The generator is alive. In real time, the power output is displayed, measured in kilowatts, climbing steadily. Initial projections estimated a modest start, but the numbers surpass expectations within minutes. 100 kilowatts. 200. The room bursts with applause as the system crosses its first milestone. This is no trick, no illusion. The lights are powered, the readings are verified, and the history books are being rewritten. For the skeptics, the data speaks louder than words. Independent observers, scientists invited from various U.S. universities, confirm the readings with their own equipment. There is no denying it now. Maxwell's generator is producing real, measurable power. The engineers exchange relieved smiles, some even wiping away tears. Years of doubt, struggle, and perseverance are justified in this single moment. The immediate power output stabilizes, holding at levels well above the baseline test goals. What this means is simple but profound. The machine works. Expert reactions begin pouring in. One scientist describes it as the dawn of a new chapter in human civilization. Another energy policymaker calls it the most significant technological event since the invention of the steam engine. Even cautious voices admit that the demonstration exceeded expectations. The implications ripple outward quickly. Imagine neighborhoods powered without grid dependency. Imagine hospitals in remote areas never losing electricity. Imagine industries freed from fluctuating oil prices. The future suddenly feels much closer. Of course, skepticism remains as it should. Questions arise about long-term stability, maintenance, and scalability. Can this generator power an entire city? Or is it limited to smaller scale operations? How will it integrate with existing infrastructure? And most importantly, who will control and regulate its use? These concerns are valid, but they cannot overshadow the breakthrough we have just witnessed. This is just the beginning of a much larger journey. The Maxwell era has begun. Viewers around the world are encouraged to share their thoughts. What does this mean for you? For your family? For your future? This is not just a scientific achievement. It is a societal shift. We invite you to be part of the conversation because the road ahead will require global dialogue. For us, this is only the first chapter. In the coming weeks, we will be documenting the long-term testing of this generator. We will explore practical applications, from homes to industries, and uncover the challenges that lie ahead. And we will dive deeper into what this means for energy geopolitics, economies, and everyday life. But for now, let us take a moment to acknowledge what we have just seen. A machine once thought impossible is now producing real power in the United States. This is more than technology, it is history. The spark has been lit, the journey has begun, and the future, brighter than ever, is here. Already, plans are forming to deploy additional units in strategic locations across the country.
Talks have begun about partnerships with major cities to test grid integration on a larger scale. Utility companies are cautiously optimistic, some expressing interest while others fear the disruption it may cause to their long-standing business models. Meanwhile, communities across the nation are imagining what life could look like with unlimited, clean, and affordable energy. The generator's presence is more than just a technological milestone. It is a symbol of hope, resilience, and human ingenuity. Children watching this today may grow up in a world where blackouts are a thing of the past. Entrepreneurs may discover new industries powered by endless electricity. And nations may finally have a tool that breaks the chains of energy dependency. Maxwell's vision is no longer just a dream. It is now a living, humming reality. The first spark in America is only the beginning of a fire that could spread across the globe. We stand at the edge of a new era, and history will remember this day as the moment it began. The Maxwell era has truly arrived.